I'm sitting in the first class compartment of our de Havilland Comet Mark I and I'd like to tell you a little about this historic aircraft. As the world's first jet airliner, the Comet revolutionised air travel. You could say it was the Concorde of its day. Until it entered service in 1952, people who could afford to fly at all were flying in what were basically converted World War II bombers and military transports. They were noisy and they were slow, and because they flew quite low, they either had to fly around bad weather or go straight through it, which didn't do very much for passenger comfort. The Comet changed all that. Being jet-powered, it could fly higher and faster, and it could avoid bad weather by flying above it. The jet engines gave a much smoother ride, and passengers loved doing the trick of balancing a coin on edge on the table in front of them, something they'd never been able to do before on an airliner. But of course then came the unexplained crashes. After the loss of two aircraft in 1954, the whole Comet fleet was grounded for investigations. It was four years until Comets flew again in passenger service. Our Comet is one of three that were delivered to Air France. When the Comets were withdrawn from service, all three of these aircraft were returned to the UK. Two of them were used as flying test beds for research, but this one was dismantled to be ready to go into a water-filled test tank at the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Farnborough, where the fuselage would be tested to destruction. However, the fuselage that was already inside that test tank failed in such a way that vital information about the failure was discovered, and this aircraft escaped, only to be left in storage at Farnborough until the 1980s. Once the lessons had been learned, the Comet underwent a total redesign, and all of the existing aircraft were extensively modified. It's well known that part of the problem was the stress that occurred around the square windows of the original and one of the major modifications was to change the shape of the windows from square to round. However, because it was never to fly again, this particular aircraft was never modified from its original state. As a result, this is the only surviving Comet airframe that retains those original square windows. This aircraft stayed at Farnborough until 1985, when it was donated to the museum by British Aerospace and in March of that year it arrived at Salisbury Hall. Restoration started in earnest nine years ago and there's been great progress made since then. This really was just a shell when the team started. Everything you see here, from the flight deck to the toilets, from the seats to the interior lining, has been recreated by our team of volunteers. Even the trims around the windows have been rebuilt. Here, a specialist supplier produced these from vacuum form plastic using moulds built by our volunteers. The seats are not originally from this aircraft, but they've come from similar aircraft of the period and they've been completely restored and re-upholstered. We're also rebuilding the galley and we'll recreate the luggage compartment that was also here in the original aircraft. We're going to leave one half of the passenger cabin unfitted so that the aircraft structure will also be visible, showing amongst other things the novel redux method of joining components together, which involves the chemical bonding of metal surfaces rather than the previous time-consuming method of forming riveted joints. The cockpit is also being fully refurbished with a combination of original instruments and controls, a new remanufactured control panel. The work done to restore the aircraft both inside and outside so far has been fantastic but the problem is the aircraft is kept out of doors. It's exposed to the full force of the British weather and unless we can bring it inside it's going to continue to suffer serious deterioration as time goes by. We're planning to build a new hangar that will house this historic aircraft and many more besides but we can't do this without your help. Please make a donation and help us preserve the de Havilland heritage for everyone to see, learn from and enjoy now and in the future. You can make a donation on our website www.dehavilandmuseum.co.uk and why not consider becoming a friend of the museum? Or you can send us a text. Just message DHAM15 10 pounds to 70070 or you can send your donation cheque payable to DHAMT Limited to the De Havilland Aircraft Museum, Salisbury Hall, London Colney, St Albans AL2 1BU